Hello, welcome to IBC 2018. My name is Rijesh Nair. I'm a pro audio application specialist with Avid. And you're at the mixing for Dolby Atmos section here. Now, today we have the S6, we've got the Matrix, we've got the HDIOs, we've also got the Dolby Renderer over here for the home theater, which is version 3, and we've got some really cool features on the Matrix as well. So, if you were to look here, this is the Matrix that we have, and this is the SPQ processor that's running on this. Now, what does the SPQ processor do? Basically, it looks after your room. How? It, what you can do on that is if you set up the room and in your monitoring path, you can set up EQs to each and every channel. So you can go up to 128 channels with 16 EQs per channel, which means your room, it doesn't matter if you have a 5 one, you have a 7 one, you have a Dolby Atmos section over there, or you have different monitor sections, you can EQ the speaker so that your room sounds right depending on how you change your profile as well. So if you, if you look over there, you can see that you know, we have an EQ on the left channel, we have a different EQ on the center channel, left side, right side, all that's been set up for this Atmos rig that you're seeing right here. So we also have some beautiful overhead speakers over here. We have some side speakers as well. So they've all been calibrated with the Dolby Atmos, with the, uh, with the Matrix SPQ card over there. Now, <clears throat> how does all this work? If you look over here, we can just head over to the, uh, this is how the system diagram is. So the matrix is at the center of everything. It is our IO, it is our monitoring box, and it is also our routing matrix. So what this does is we've got two Pro Tool systems that is running over here. We have one which you can see there, that's the player. And you can also, from the S6, tap to the second one that you can see is the recorder. All of these are actually connected to the matrix, and from the matrix, all of the information is being sent to the Dolby Home Atmos renderer. Now, this is a new version of the home theater renderer that we are showing. It is slightly different from the cinema version, because in the cinema version, you can go up to 64 speakers, and this one, it's only up to 22, but it's also pretty useful when you're delivering stuff on, for Netflix or for home broadcast or for the Blu-ray as well. Now, on the S6, we have some really, really interesting stuff as well. For example, one of the things that you know, we had a lot of talk about is what happens is when you, when you have an EQ and you want to push it over to your fader. Well, there are some very interesting things that can happen over here. So if I move over to the, to the S6, I have to go back to my player and move over to the S6. Now, over here, if I take the EQ button, and I can actually spill the EQ onto my faders as well. What happens here is when you do an EQ, let's say you have the low gain, the low frequency, the low Q, you have a Q factor for everything that's there. You have the frequencies, um, the position of the zero that is there. So when you increase it for the Q, for example, let's just put a Q over there. So let's just clear this out for now. And let's take an EQ and put a Q factor over here, that would be easier to show. So if I put a Q factor over here, you can see it's pretty wide, but then when I narrow it down, you can see that it actually reflects exactly what's happening on the EQ plugin as well. You can see that happening over there. This is one of the really cool features, especially when it comes to visual feedback, because let's be honest, I know as of today, we all have a lot more tracks and much less time to work. So how do you become efficient? You become more efficient by you know, spending less time in finding out the things that you want to do and using that time for your creative output. So all of these features that you see on the Essex, whether it's the EQ, whether it's a spill on that, whether it's sending a soft key across multiple systems. So let's say if you want to do a preview across all of your five systems that is connected to the SX, you can do it in one go. You don't have to do it individually. If you want to save, for example, on all of your five systems by hitting one button, all of those things actually save a lot of time as well. So in, in all of these things, if you look at it, the whole time that it takes for you to do a mix, it doesn't matter if you're doing a conventional mix, a stereo 5171, or even Atmos, because Atmos is now integrated into Pro Tools since version 12.8. It has all come down to the fact where you, you can actually have it much simpler, much faster, and with much, much more creativity. Thank you.